Hello, my name is Roger Watson and I am the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Advanced Nursing, the Editor of Nursing Open and an Editorial Board Member of the Wiki Journal of Medicine. In this session, I want to talk to you about peer review, specifically about peer review of manuscripts submitted to academic journals with a view to publication. Of course, peer review takes place in other areas such as in promotions and appointments to jobs and in the review of research grant applications, but this is specifically about manuscripts submitted for publication. Peer review is the use of experts by editors to advise on the worth of a manuscript. Please note that reviewers do not make decisions on manuscripts. They advise the editors and the editors then take the decisions. There are three types of peer review. I'm going to describe them now and then I'll finish by giving you some advice on dealing with peer reviews. The three types of peer review are double blind, single blind and open peer review. Double blind peer review is by far the most common and in double blind peer review neither the reviewers nor the authors know the identity of the other. This protects the authors from being judged on the basis of anything other than the work that they've submitted. They're not being judged on their seniority or on anything else that the reviewer may know about them. Likewise, it protects the identity of the reviewer. Authors may not be pleased about reviews and may subsequently abuse them, either verbally or in other ways. So it protects people both ways. Of course, if a manuscript is subsequently published, the reviewers can identify the authors, but the authors will never be able to identify the reviewers. So that's double-blind peer review. In single-blind peer review, the identity of one party is known to the other. Most commonly, it's the identity of the authors that's known to the reviewer. In this system, the reviewer is protected their identity is protected. However, they're often given the opportunity, and this is increasingly common, to, uh, to identify themselves in, in the reviews. But this is not a very, not a very common system of, of, of peer review. What's becoming more common, yet, yet very, still very uncommon, but becoming more common, is open peer review. And this is particularly used by the online open access journals for example, the Biomed uh, Central suite of journals and PLOS One, but other journals are using it as well. And in fact, many journals are now uh, providing uh, certainly reviewers with the opportunity, rather like in single blind peer review, to identify themselves anyway. However, in open peer review, um, right from the outset, the identity of both parties is known. And moreover, uh, in the Biomed and in the PLOS One suite of journals, the actual reviews are published. Now the benefits uh, of this system, or the virtues of this system, are that it's supposed to encourage better reviewing and reviewers cannot hide behind anonymity and make derogatory comments, for example, which they shouldn't do anyway, but make derogatory comments or unfair comments about authors. I think that uh, authors need to be aware that they're submitting to journals where their identity will be known. You need to understand what the processes are and reviewers likewise need to understand what they're getting into when they enter open peer review. My own view or my, my own experience is that more experienced and authors and reviewers don't mind being involved in open peer review but less experienced authors and reviewers uh, don't particularly like being involved. There has been one case, uh, quite famous, in open peer review in one of the Biomed journals where a reviewer made a derogatory comment about an author in the sense that she was female and that she ought to seek some help from male colleagues. Disgraceful comment and that reviewer uh, was quickly removed from the reviewers list for that journal. But you can see that open peer review uh, does potentially lead uh, to comments like that, but it's very, it's very uncommon. This is not really the place to discuss the virtues of the different systems. I just want to, you to understand that there are three systems, double blind peer review, single blind peer review, and open peer review.
peer review. There are even some moves, I have to say, towards triple blind peer review, where the editors don't know the identities of the reviewers or the authors, but this is very uncommon, probably unnecessary, but um, you never know. Watch the space that may well develop in the future. Peer review is not a perfect process. I have to emphasize this. It's a process whereby people are giving opinions and opinions, of course, are personal. Reviewers should try to be as objective as they possibly can, but sometimes they may not necessarily understand fully what they're reading. They may not necessarily have the knowledge. They may make mistakes. We're all, we're all human. It's not a perfect system. It's a system whereby people give opinions and editors weigh them up. So you may well be rejected by one journal and accepted by another. I'm often asked as an editor, why did your uh, journal reject my paper and another journal accept it? The answer is, I don't, I don't know. That's just the peer review process. It isn't a scientific process. You have to understand that. Whatever reviewers say, editors have to weigh up and come to their own conclusion. So if you submit manuscripts to journals, uh, if you don't get rejected outright, you will almost inevitably be asked to deal with reviewers' comments. These are these days very uncommonly divided into minor or major. They used to be, you, they're normally just comments. And whatever they are, you have to deal with them. And there's a paper by Williams, which you can look up about the golden rules of uh, dealing with reviewers' comments. And in this paper, Williams says three, th three things. First of all, always respond politely. There's no point in being rude to reviewers, and reviewers are encouraged to be polite to authors. As editors, we monitor this very closely, and we indeed remove reviewers who are rude. So point one, answer politely. The second point is very important, and it's answer completely. In other words, if you cannot address a point that a reviewer raises, don't ignore it. Make a statement about that and say why you can't address it. Uh, don't worry about that, but please don't ignore it. There's nothing annoys reviewers and indeed editors more than points being ignored. So you must address every point that the reviewer raises. The best way to do this is to provide a list of those points and say exactly how and where you've responded. The third point is answer with evidence. So whatever you are providing, especially if you're providing a response to a uh, point that you disagree with or simply can't address, then provide the evidence that backs up your uh, perspective or your, your point of view. So just to recap, peer reviewing is a process used by editors to ask expert opinions on the worth of manuscripts and to help them make a decision about publishing. There are three systems of peer review, double blind, single blind and open peer review. And in dealing with reviewers' comments, please answer politely, answer completely, and answer with evidence. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for listening.